Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is a fan requested video. Marco Christic, I would like to see matchup between Ronnie and Gunter 2002 when Gunter wob over Ronnie. I think the IFBB gave Gunter a present that night and punished Ronnie. Well, Marco, you may be right. You know what? I've gone through all these comparisons and I understand how politics work. And it may have been a gift for Gunter Schlierkampf, as, of course, politically, the champion, the IFBB Mr. Olympia champion, will always have an edge in competitions. But this was the 2002 show of strength, and it was right after the 2002 Mr. Olympia event, where a lot of people thought Gunter should have won that entire event. He placed fifth, fifth. And Ronnie Coleman did not look good at all there. So they did not take his Olympia title away, but I think they did punish him with a loss to Gunter Schlierkampf. It would make sense. But, hey, Gunter may have just come in so shredded, so diced, that maybe he did knock the socks off the judges, and maybe he did win this comparison. So I got all the comparisons that I could find, and, of course, this is a front-relaxed position here. And we're going to lay it out all on the line, and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on who I think won this event, at least based on the footage that I was able to find. Like I said, this was the 2002 Show of Strength. Aptly named, these two big studs, strong as an ox, both of them, I'm sure. Ronnie Coleman, I don't really see anything that wrong with his physique. I mean, I've seen him look a whole lot worse. He looked worse at the Olympia in 2002. Gunter, he doesn't surprise me. Nothing really jumps out and says, pick me as the winner. He looks good, mind you. I mean, but considering Ronnie Coleman was the Olympia champion, nothing really yet, other than maybe perhaps a political punishment here in the quarter turn. Yes, now I can definitely see Ronnie is not in his peak condition. The skin's a little bit thick, I think, for his likings. The arms on Gunter look a little bit scrawny at this angle. But, at the end of the day, no real, true, huge dominant winner in this. I mean, sure, Gunter may have thinner skin, things of that nature, but you got to think, guys, this is the Olympia champion. I was unable to find a rear-relaxed position of Gunter Schlierkampf, but this may give us a glimpse of just why Gunter won. Look at that Christmas tree. That reminds me of the 2002 uh, Marcus Ruhl, I believe it was, the Knight of Champions. Ooh, that would be a matchup, them two big German giants. But anyway, this is a much more interesting matchup, if you ask me. See, Ronnie, he's not in his peak. You can see he's not as hard and as grainy, but he doesn't suck here by any means. I don't. I wouldn't hand him a loss. So that was the symmetry round. Let's begin the muscularity round, shall we? The front double bicep, of course. We will begin off with this one. Ronnie Coleman, I have to say. If I was a judge, I would hand him a win in this one. Those arms are a little too long of Gunther Schlierkampf. You notice the, uh, the space between his bicep and his forearm. I mean, don't get me wrong, those biceps are massive, and I can see certain people may be giving him this one, but... I don't know. Neither guy looks tremendous. Here's a different angle here, and you can really see what I mean. Those arms are quite gangly of Gunter Schlierkamp. Ronnie Coleman's arms, look at the detail gone into those babies. And the waistline does not uh, impress me at all by Gunter Schlierkamp, uh, so it's not really dwarfing Ronnie Coleman in that uh, aspect either, because Ronnie Coleman's waistline sucks. Both of them really suck in the waistline. Ronnie Coleman needs to cinch that waist in to make this pose effective. But nonetheless, I did give this one to Ronnie. Here we have the front lat spread. And I keep, honestly, I keep waiting for Gunter Schlierkampf to jump out at me and say, this is the all-time greatest physique to be able to defeat the current Olympia champion. I mean, it only happened maybe once ever. In the history, besides this, I believe Sergio Oliva was defeated, and he was the current Mr. Olympia champion, I believe. Arnold beat him in some event, I think, before the uh, Olympia in 69. 
or in 69 before 70? Not exactly sure. This one here, Gunter lo does look a little bit better, I think, more presentful. But when you look at the lats of big Ronnie Coleman, it, I mean, he, he, he's not getting dwarfed by any means. Maybe a slight loss, a slight edge to Gunter here in the front lat. And of course, if you use this comparison, Gunter does get an easy victory. But I am more clever than that. It is not a straight-on shot of Ronnie. And when it comes to the front lat spread, you really got to get in front to see that V-taper, that silhouette. But either way, I am giving Gunter a slight edge in this pose. Side chest pose, personally, I would give it to, for sure, Gunter Schlierkampf. He has that big 70s look, the 70s bow, as I call that, the chest, how it bows around underneath. But anyway, Ronnie Coleman does not have that at all. His display is terrible, the camera angle, things of that nature. Let's have another shot here. Now, this one... It's still, it's not a good angle for Ronnie, so you can't really see at all. But I wager to say Gunther Schlierkampf would have defeated Ronnie Coleman in this pose on this night anyway. Of course, we do have a, a bigger shot of both gentlemen. And I must say, Ronnie does look a little bit better in this comparison. It's a better angle, a better shot, but still, his, his, his pec, it seems to be dwarfed by the delt. It always happens in this shot. But either way, I would say Gunter Schlierkampf gets a, a slight victory in the side chest, that along with the front lat spread, and he does have a slight lead in this one. Oh, talk about two terrible tricepses, baby, one time. Wow, they suck, both of them. Food for thought, Ronnie Coleman's lag looks outstanding. And that's usually a, a weak point in these side shots for Ronnie, but here, I must say, those insertions... Unreal. I mean, I can't pick a winner, can you? This one here, of course, the angle of the shot favors Gunter, but the tricep itself is invisible. You can actually see Ronnie's, so I don't know. You can see King Kamali back there saying, let me hit the shot, let me hit the shot. Oh, sit down, King Kamali, you big gut. Look at the gut on King Kamali. You're supposed to be a bodybuilder, Kamali. Gut, gut, you big gut. Anyway, enough picking on the king. He was a good poser, after all. So nobody gets nothing in the side tricep. Turn around for the Christmas tree pose. One that Ronnie Coleman usually just dwarfs everyone in and just puts everybody to shame. But here, I have to say, Gunter, he must have been working on his conditioning plus. And, of course, he was working on his posing techniques to really bring that Christmas tree out. If you really take a close look at those glutes... I do believe Gunter may be in better condition. That trademark Christmas tree of Ronnie Coleman, yes, you can see here, for sure. Gunter Schlierkampf in far better condition when it comes to the lower back, anyway. The glutes on Ronnie still look just as good, I believe, in this comparison, anyway. All right, all right, all right, let's get into the back shots, beginning with this rear lat spread. Nine times out of ten, Ronnie Coleman would always walk away as the winner. In this shot, anyway. But here, I think Gunter is a little drier, perhaps. And with his frame, he appears to be a little bit larger as well. I don't know, though. Speaking politically, I still can't see the judges giving this one to Gunter. Even personally, I would give him the one, or this pose. Of course, in this comparison here, the trap seemed to be a little bit washed out for Gunter and... On the contrary, Ronnie Coleman looks outstanding. See, you have to take all things into consideration now. It's pretty much a tie game. We'll have to have another back comparison. Now this one, I have to say, Ronnie Coleman, the detail once again in that back shot. He does look fantastic, fantastic indeed. Now, uh, Gunter is good and wide, but this is bodybuilding. Look at the Christmas tree on Ronnie. I mean, this has to be a political decision, for sure. Of course, in this one here, well, Gunter does look a whole lot better. This is not a good display. They must have did a morning show where they do the mandatories, things of that nature, and then a nighttime show. Ronnie, if this is the morning show for Ronnie, he, he looks poor here. His conditioning looks down. Look at that. It's a little bit of a soggy donk. His bum's a little bit soggy in comparison. To the rock hard grainy nature of Gunter. But still, thinking back to the other pitchers, the detail in the back shots of Ronnie, 
I think he may have been punished. You know, he looked terrible at the Olympia. Hand him a loss at another event. Make him realize that they can give him a loss at the Olympia. So he came back in 2003 just massive. And that's probably why he was so improved in 2003. But anyway, talking right through these rear double bicep poses, Ronnie actually looks a little bit better. Sure, he's not the most symmetrical man in this pose, but neither is Gunter, neither is Gunter, and Ronnie has a little bit more detail. Yes, yes, this one here, you can really see that detail, and what we've seen as a soggy donk earlier, looks like a hard striated set of glutes, hamstrings look good too, and like I said, Gunter's back is not very symmetrical at all, so Ronnie's doesn't really hurt him, actually looks quite good in comparison, so I think without a doubt, We've seen both back shots, we've seen all the front shots, no real domination by Gunter, and I say Ronnie won at least one and a half of the two back shots, if, if that mathematics makes any sense to you guys whatsoever. The ebb and thigh would be an easy win for Gunter, in my opinion. The Strasians in those thighs alone. And of course, he does have a massive set of legs as well, he's a big guy, and Ronnie usually dwarfing everybody in the lag size department, but perhaps not Gunter. Gunter, a big lad, so to speak, and somewhat aesthetic, I guess, in a comparison to Ronnie in this pose. Neither guy a Sean Ray, for sure, by any stretch of the imagine. But I think Gunter, cuts in them abs, is enough to get a, a nice clean victory here in this shot. The most muscular? Normally, nine times out of ten, both guys look terrific. But it's plain to see in this shot, Gunter looks narrow. His arms look small. I mean, the triceps, they just do not get displayed whatsoever. And Ronnie, he's not fully snapped in the shot. There is this one here, and he is, but it looks terrible. It looks terrible. Look at the waistline, everything. He even looks funny in the face. He has a funny face. Let's all make fun of Ronnie Coleman. Ha ha, Ronnie. You have a funny face. Of course, he's an eight-time Mr. Olympia champion. He'd probably just shrug that off. Anyway, there you go, guys. I mean, you take your pick. It's a pick em. I would say Ronnie might even get a slight edge in this competition, considering the victory in the back shots. But Gunter Schlierkamp, he made history here. He walked away with the win. I mean, of course, he is top-plus conditioning, for sure. But is it enough? to topple the current Mr. Olympia champion? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I'd have no problem at all if Ronnie Coleman walked away with the win on this one. But history is history. Gunter Schlierkamp made it. 2002, the IFBB show us strength. Gunter Schlierkamp defeated the king. So there you have it, guys. You be the judge. Let me know in the comments section below who you believe was the real rightful winner at this event. Hit a thumbs up. Hit a subscribe. Wouldn't hurt a thing. Have a great day, guys.